इसके पीछे बिल्कुल वहां पे एक क्रेटर है वो हमें अभी साइन नजर आया है कि यहाँ पे क्या है क्रेटर है एक आगे चेक कर रहे कोई नाइन माइल्स हुए खैर इट्स अर्ली लाइक फोर्टीन एक्स्ट्रा मिनट्स ऑन आर ट्रिप्स आपको याद है दान ऑन लेकिन यहाँ से देख के पता चल रहा है कितना बड़ा है वो देखे यार क्या लग रहा है आपको इसने डायनासोर को मारा था लिखी <laughs> But for travelers, this is hands down the greatest country for road trips. In my 8 years in the US, I've explored 42 states, had more than 300,000 miles of road trips and countless unforgettable experiences. Now, I'll be sharing with you one of the longest and most exciting road trips across the country. A full loop from coast to coast and back with more than a month on the road. an experience that will take us through some of the most incredible landscapes and cities in the world. Join the Carnival Doge boys as we travel from one of the largest super volcanoes to the deepest canyons on earth. From bustling cities to roaring waterfalls and desolate peaks, from alpine lakes to the most iconic coastlines in the world. Subscribe and become a member of our community of travel enthusiasts. Our Carnival Doge Kafla and tag along for a journey of a lifetime the great american road trip it's day 3 of our coast to coast us road trip and we've just left the grand canyon today we're starting our journey to as dallas it's a 17 hour drive without stops covering roughly 1100 miles That's too long of a drive to complete in one day even for us. So we'll have to spend the night somewhere along the way. Two hours into the journey, we spotted something peculiar on the horizon, and shortly after, we saw signs for a natural landmark and another sign telling us to put on channel 1610 AM on our car radio. It's crazy, it's completely flat. And then there's a crater up there. Ab ye bhai batayenge क्योंकि It was the first 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 कुछ है तो वो इसलिए जरा हाइप हुई हुई और समझ नहीं आ रहा है क्या है इसने डायनासोर को मारा है कि नहीं मारा और वो यार कितना बड़ा वो चेक कर यार We had to stop for a break, and the next rest area was too far, so we decided to turn in towards the landmark and see what it was all about. Apparently, this is the best preserved meteorite impact site on Earth. Located just minutes from Interstate 40 in northern Arizona, Meteor Crater is the spectacular result of a collision that rocked the American Southwest approximately 50,000 years ago, with the energy of more than 20 million tons of TNT. <laughs> ये लोग अठारह डॉलर मांग रहे थे तो मैंने इंसानों की तरह बात फोन में हिसाब कर लिया है और हम अब वापस जा रहे हैं हम इमेजिन कर सकते हैं ठीक है मैं आपको इमेजिनेशन जरा करवाता हूँ Thanks for this copyright free video. We can imagine what the meteor looked like heading towards Earth. And then it crashed resulting in a crater. End of story. All these rocks fall off from that crater. So this is all the rubble from it. It, it all used to look like that over there. Okay? I just imagine a massive fucking hole in there and just all these rocks flying off to the side. That's basically what's over there. But since we already have a long journey ahead of us, we didn't have the time to waste watching a shitty CGI video of a meteor hitting the earth. We've seen enough of that in the movies already. 
and we could see how big the crater was miles before we reached it. And we googled what happened so it was enough for us to appreciate it without wasting $18 and 2 hours on our already long journey. State number 5, New Mexico. I'll be honest, this is one of those boring states that nobody really visits. The only thing worth our time here is the White Sands National Park, and we'd have loved to check it out, but we already decided on the national parks we'd visit before heading out, and unfortunately, White Sands didn't make the cut for this trip. We crossed into New Mexico just as the sun was starting to set. We still have a long way to go, so we'll drive as far as we can and then pull over at the rest area to pass out in the car. We're pushing the limits of physical exhaustion for a reason. This is by far the most boring drive of our entire road trip. So driving through the night, watching a thunderstorm and lightning in the distance is at least keeping us somewhat focused. If we had to do this during the day, I'd be bored out of my fucking mind. I've done this drive a few times and I promise you, it drives you insane. We've already exhausted our playlists, we've listened to countless hours of podcasts, we've sat in silence for hours, we've talked about everything that we could think of to talk about. We've smoked more cigarettes than ever before just out of boredom. We gotta give it to the truck drivers. I don't know how they do these routes regularly and somewhat maintain their sanity. Finally, it was time for a gas and dinner stop in Albuquerque, New Mexico. We never drive past the point of exhaustion because that endangers everyone on the road but we drive just up to that point. We were pretty much delirious by the time we had dinner, so we decided to call it a night. Hangry, Chimaji? Hangry? They don't have parts from the same. Hong Kong. Yeah, hot dog. You had a call it? Second drink, second drink. A short drive later, we came across a rest area and decided to pass out there. Why we decided to sleep here instead of a hotel is because we don't want to waste a single second being in this place longer than we have to. We want to wake up and get back on the highway as soon as possible. Because we're here, we're going to go to Orgari, I think we're about 9 hours away from Dallas. And we're going to see if you're going to sleep. Yeah, skinny life problems. Here when I have these tables there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Stay four, and we've covered an ungodly amount of distance since we started this trip. 1700 miles since we left Corvallis a few days ago. Looking back at this, I'm amazed my body was able to do these long drives every day. Anyway, yesterday we made good distance. We got as close to Texas as possible. We have another 9 hour journey ahead of us without stops and this will be the most boring 9 hours of our lives. It will make yesterday look like a day at the amusement park. Before we get back on the road, we need to freshen up, brush our teeth, wash our faces, change our shirts. So I have to make a makeshift bed. Life jackets. <laughs> My jacket. You got to see like in Ahiti in the Middle East, we can drive straight to Dallas without stopping. I mean, I honestly don't know how people live here. These three to four southern states are huge, literally bigger than most countries. But no mountains, no bends, no curves on the road, nothing interesting for hundreds of miles. Just the same fucking boring flat land and straight highways. This is insanity. We're Oregonians. We drive 50 minutes in any direction and we're bound to come across a waterfall, mountain, beach, desert, canyon or a lake. There's literally nothing on the horizon but fucking billboards and the occasional train or windmills. Bored out of our minds, we had to find new ways to entertain ourselves. Surprisingly, Every time I've done this drive, I've had a race with a train. Anyway, we're in Texas, finally. 
we still have a long drive ahead of us. Honestly, there's nothing interesting to show you guys for the rest of the way. The whole point of this video is to show you how boring this drive is. So bring your books, download some movies, prepare for sheer boredom. Tonight we'll reach Dallas and link up with a close friend. And tomorrow we start exploring Texas. We're here for a few days, so we'll be visiting friends and family and exploring the cities of Texas. Because the nature here is shit as you've seen already. So up next on our itinerary are Austin, San Antonio, Houston and Dallas. And one of those cities might just change how I feel about Texas. Thank <laughs> you.